What is up, Tube of the U? It's your boy Marcus Jones. This is Jonesin for Pokemon, and today we are Jonesin for some Darkness Ablazi. With me here today, I got the Elite Trainer Box. Now, I have not opened up this box before, so I am super excited. If you guys want to take a look at what comes inside the box, I'll pause the screen. You can check it out right over here. Now, this isn't actually the first time opening Darkness Ablaze on this channel. If you guys haven't watched the video, I'll link it up top. I did a booster box opening where every ultra rare card I pulled I had to chug a beer before continuing on to the next pack things escalated quickly that's all I'm gonna say so you guys should definitely take a look and before we continue this video I just want to announce the winners from the giveaway I did last week where you guys had a chance to win the score bunny Sobble and Grookey I opened up the sword and shield figure collection box and I opened a bunch of these now I said giveaway winners and that's because I was only supposed to give away one set of these three promos here but after doing the video I went to go put the cards in the collection binder and I realized I have multiples of each one now. So I thought might as well surprise you guys. I'm actually going to do two giveaways for two sets here. So congratulations to Geo the Goat and L General. Thank you guys so much for entering and thanks everyone else who participated. Be sure to stay tuned and be subscribed on this channel because I know the guy who runs this channel and he told me for sure there's going to be more giveaways coming not too far down the road. So you guys definitely have to stay tuned for the next giveaway. Now back to the Elite Trainer Box. If you guys haven't watched my last ETB opening, I cracked into a Vivid Voltage ETB where if you guys don't know, these ETBs have eight packs inside and I want to compare what was better, eight packs from the Elite Trainer Box or eight loose packs and I don't want to spoil it too much but let's just say it ends in some gold but today won't be any different we have the ETB here we have here eight loose packs from eBay shout out to shadowless gaming it's actually a pretty cool card there's like texture on it it's almost like 3d feel to it but thanks to them so let's see what we got here we got the one Charizard we have here Eternatus, another Eternatus, another Eternatus, another Charizard. We have Scent of Scorch, Charizard, and Eternatus. So we got the four Eternatus that we're going to start off first. Then we're going to go into the Scent of Scorch. And we're going to end with the three Zards. And we also have some sleeves here just in case I pull something spicy. I feel like I mentioned that in every single video. But it's actually a reminder for me to know that I actually have the sleeves with me. Because you never know what you're going to pull. And I always want to be prepared. So let's get into the first pack. And then we're going to do these eight. And then move into the elite trainer box so let us see first pack here uh let me know what you think will have the better pulls is it the etb or is it the loose packs so let's not waste any time let's get right into it here we have clink ducklet reverse hollow flaffy and the first pull is a salamence v holy smokes here we go full art how are you what an absolute beauty card Holy smokes, folks. There, where are the sleeves? I was just talking about them. We do not have to waste any time. That is what I am talking about. I was about to say thanks, guys, so much for taking the time out of your day and watch this. And before I did, we were already in the reverse hollows, and then we went right into this full art card. Let's put that right up there. That is what I am talking about, folks. One for one right now. A turn it is. Jeez Louise and a Vietnamese. That insane. So we got another code card here, pretty damaged, but that's okay as long as the cards aren't damaged. Well, that one is the first one here. One, two, three, four. That one's gonna be in rough shape. We have here Energy, Steeny, Furret, Yellhorn. I even give my, I was gonna say, honestly, the ETB uh, will have better pulls just cause I'm going with the Vivid Voltage. Ooh, Dracozolt, which I believe is a rare reverse holo. And for the rare, we have a, ooh, there we go. Galizapod, holo rare. So not too shabby. So far we've gone hollow rares or better in every pack. Now I know we're only two packs in, but that is phenomenal. So as I was saying, my guess is gonna be the ETB, but I have been pulling pretty good luck on this channel so far since I began this quest on this YouTube uh, of getting good cards. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Energy, Zuelis. Uh, so I've been, yeah, I've been getting pretty good pulls in my loose packs, like sometimes the loose actually is better than what's been in the sealed products. So we have here a reverse hollow for it and a uh, Ampharos non hollow rare. So we are back down to reality here. Not everything could be hollow rare or better, but that's okay. Last pack for Eternatus before we get into the Scentus Scorch. So I was gonna say also, let me know how your day is going. Hope it is going well. One, two, three, 
four. So let's get into it. We got oh, a little wrapper extra there. How are, oh, hey, came back. We have energy. We got the thunder. Oh, hiding energy. We have Fletchlinder, Gotharita, Pansage, Tauros, Diglett, Squovit. A little chubby guy. Look, look at that guy. All chubby cheeks and all. We have here Shelmet, Wimpod, Reverse Hollow, and the rare is going to be a BR tick. And then the BR, Lycida the Honey. So let's get right into the Senta Scorch. If you guys don't know that reference, it is from Jerry D. Stand Up Comedy. A uh, pretty funny comedian from here in Canada, because that's where I reside. One, two, three, four. So we got here, ooh, Fire Energy in the Senta Scorch. Another Fire Pokemon with a Combuskin. We got here Pupitar, Corvusquire, Glaring Mr. Mime. My guess is gonna be this rare will be a fire. Just, just saying, fire. We have Clink Reverse Hollow and a Galark non hollow rare. So I was wrong on that. So let's get into the Zards here. And uh, I forgot to mention, I am still after the Charizard V Max. I have not pulled that. So that would be phenomenal if we could get that on today's video. There's a bunch of full art trainers too, I am after code card let me know if you guys have pulled the charizard v max i feel like i am the last person on this planet who hasn't pulled it so we have energy here poltergeist soul rock kabu electric uh yeah it was electric sorry had to do a double take dino pansy uh simian i cannot talk right now vanillite tauros reverse hollow and a charizard v how are you <laughs> there you go not the v max you just teased me charizard but that is still a phenomenal pull let's see how the centering looks on this card it's a little light here on the left side unfortunately let me know if you guys do psa gradings because i definitely want to send in a bunch to psa but how does it affect it? Will I lose like a full point? Like, will this be a nine now if everything else was perfect? Do they really look at the back centering on it or is it more just the front, the corners and the edge wear and the hollow if there's no scratches? Let me know down below, but that is a sweet card. Let's stop breathing on it. Let's get it in a sleeve. I feel like every Charizard now has to be sent to PSA because the prices are absolutely ridiculous. But that is a sweet, sweet card. So there we go. So, so far the loose packs have brought it. I mean, we have a Charizard V and a Salamence. So the ETV has its work cut out for him. That pack just fell as I was looking up here at the camera. So we got code card, one, two, three, four. All right, we got Fighting Energy. We got Gotharita. We got Pierce, still looking for that rainbow. We have Centrit. Uh, my number one card is actually that I'm still chasing is, okay, let's do this first here. We got Kangaskhan Reverse Hollow, which is a rare. And we have for the rare, a Toxtricity, ra uh, I was gonna say rainbow, I don't know why, Hollow Rare. Love to Toxtricity. Hoping to get its full, uh, its VMAX Rainbow Rare in uh, Rebel Clash. That is such a cool looking card. Holy smokes, but there we go, a nice hollow rare. Love that pattern actually, the artwork is phenomenal on that. So we are going to the last pack here. Let's see what we can get. All right, so we I forgot what I was talking about before. My mind is all over the place here. Just thinking about that Charizard VMAX that we have a chance of getting today. That is the goal card. Uh, but yeah, my number one goal card, I just remember now is from Vivid Voltage. It is the Alistair Rainbow. As weird as it sounds, I am definitely after that card. We have here Galarian Darumaka. And for the final pack here, we have a Volcarona non hollow rare. So we got a couple of ultra rares. We got a couple of hollow rares, not too shabby. So let's slide this off here. So we got the booklet here that shows everything that we have a chance of pulling from the set. Whereas Mr. Charizard right there, Charizard VMAX, that is the man we are after. Folks, let us try to get him. Set that off to the side. Lift this up here. Throw this plastic to the side. So we have here the Pokemon trading card game rules. The sleeves here are very nice. Gonna definitely hang on to these sleeves. Very, very nice. We got the energies, 65 of them, I believe. We got the code card. For you fine folks, go ahead and claim that. We got the dividers here for them. We have the play markers, the damage counters. We got the dice. Nice colors on them right there. And then we got 
what should be eight packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. We didn't get gypped. That's always a good sign. So let's take a quick look here at the pack artwork. And oh, we actually do have a Grim Snarl. So let's start off with that one. Then we're going to do the exact same order because why not? So let's put that right here. Let's not waste any time. And let's see if my uh, prediction and yours as well is correct. Uh, let's see if you guessed right. So we got the code card. One, two, three, four. I mean, right now, if we get the Charizard VMAX, it's guaranteed over. If we get a gold card, maybe a rainbow, uh, a full art trainer, who knows? I feel like that'll even it. So let's see what could get the better pulls. So we got here, Simi Seer Reverse Hollow. And for the first rare, we have a Lugia non hollow still a pretty good non hollow one of the best ones you could probably get in the set that's just my opinion let me know yours but pack number two let's see let's get all the i mean that's why we started with grimstone all right non hollow we got that out of the way we already knew that so code card one two oh, just hit the camera one two three four there we go so let's get all the non hollows out of the way right away the dene vibrava corvus squire Pissimian, Bunnelby, Vanillite, Gathita, Nickit, Reverse Hollow, Dartrix, and for the rare is gonna be Corviknight Hollow. So it's an upgrade. We got a Hollow rare here. I don't think I've actually pulled that Hollow yet. Even for the Hollows, it's good to get it the first time around. Add it to the collection. Throw it in the binder. So let's get into Pack Numero Tray. This one will it be a hit? Let us see. My gut is Lucky Pack Number Three. Let's see. Oh, Thunder. Will it bring the Thunder? Let us soon find out. We got here Torchic, Starly, Skarmory, Pansage, Electrike, Reverse Hollow Kangaskhan, which as you guys already know, is a rare. And the uh, Ultra Rare is another Charizard V. We just doubled up on the Charizards. How are you? So right now, I mean, it's not in the lead because we still have the Salamence, but holy smokes, two Charizards. So that is another great Pull, bringing the fire. Let's get into the Santa Scorch. Tripping over my own words there. I can't believe we got two Charizards in one video. Oh, I just ruined the pack. What well, green? Uh, let's go with one, two, three, four. Now I know this is not vivid voltage, so we don't even have a chance of getting a amazing rare in the reverse hollow slot. So let's just go through this quickly here. Let us see, let us see. Reverse Hollow Layron, which is pretty cool. I haven't pulled too many of the Layron Reverse Hollows. And we have here a BR tick, because the BR like the Vahoney. Last pack here for the Sentis Scorch. Let's get it. I haven't had to go animal style yet. We might have to sacrifice the first Charizard. That is another bent card. A, uh, I might have to go animal style on the next the next pack, which will be a Charizard. Sacrifice it to the to the wolves here. Let us see. We got here Aaron Rukidi. You gotta roll the R's all the time on Rukidi. We have Dedene, Reverse Hollow, and a Asselgore non-hollow rare. So let's get into the first Charizard pack. We're gonna go animal style here. Alright. Had to do one. We gotta do one on every video, you know? We got here is a code card. Will the uh Will the animal style bring good luck? Let's see. We got Pierce, Powerful Energy, to uh, Toxapex. Haven't pulled too many of those bad boys. We got Rowlet, uh, Squovit. Sorry, I was going faster than my brain could comprehend. Passimian, Reverse Hollow. And for the rare, we have a Tapu Coco Hollow Rare. So we got a couple Hollow Rares. So, so far, there's two packs left. Could the ETB take over? So far, it hasn't. Uh, oh, green code card. Why did I just ruin that again? Twice in a video. That is embarrassing. One, two, three, four. I am a rookie here. <laughs> All right, we got here Soul Rock. We got Kabu, Gathita, Skarmory, Cub Chew, Wimpod, Bunnelby, Reverse Hollow Jigglypuff, and a Golurk non hollow. So it's up to the last pack. Can we have another last pack magic like in my last ETB video with Vivid Voltage where we pulled gold? That's all I'm gonna say, we pulled gold. So let us see what we get here. It's a little hard to open. We're gonna go animal style here. We're gonna double up on the animal style. So thank you guys so much for watching. Here we go, it was a code card. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, please uh, hit the like button. I am looking for three and a half likes. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I post videos multiple times a week. Normally I don't talk over my words this much. I usually do, but we have here a Tapu Coco reverse hollow and ending on the video, we have a Wiggly Tough non hollow rare anyways guys thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit that like button if you guys haven't subscribed yet smash the subscribe button down below hope you guys have a good one and remember at the end of the day we're all just jonesing for pokemon catch you in the next video